morning to you. I'm Jeff Slakey. At this time, weekly, we have a good chance to check in with the Mason County Sheriff's Office. We're going to talk about a great thing coming up, the Law Enforcement Torch Run for Special Olympics Washington. It's coming up Thursday, June 1st, and I've got a lot of great guests in studio here today. We're going to say hi to Casey Salisbury, Kevin Hansen, and Dave Thompson about this big event upcoming. Morning, gang. How y'all doing? Morning. Great. Good, morning. good to see y'all. Yeah. And, uh, Sheriff, let's start with you, the Law Enforcement Torch Run for Special Olympics Washington. We've been talking a little bit about it, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you have your uh, monthly uh, breakfast this week, and so that's going to be another main topic of this. Yes, that's going to be the start of our kickoff. Actually, I, I used to teach school, and I got involved in Special Olympics many years ago, and I've always wanted to do the Torch Run. Mason counties never do it. So I mentioned it to Chief Hansen, and Chief Hansen stood up at a state conference and said we were in and we were going, and... Therefore, we are. And yeah. so uh, we've asked all our other agencies to join in with us. And today, uh, Dave was with us from the Department of Corrections. They're going to be taking a leg of the uh, of the run and uh, helping us out as well. Um, this month is our, actually, is the kickoff is uh, next Friday. Rex Caldwell, the state chair for a law enforcement torch run, and Mary, uh, Mary Doe and um, Dave Lennox are going to be down to speak about Special Olympics, show us a video on that. And we're all working on the project together. So what are the ways and, and how can the community get behind this and how can the community help here? Kevin, start. We go with you. So, so the primary fundraiser for the Special Olympics program is, uh, is T-shirt sales. Okay. And uh, the sheriff up th is holding up that shirt there, and uh, we're selling those shirts for $20 a piece. Uh, the thing about the um, fundraising for Special Olympics is that we found was very interesting in a conference we just went to this last week was that 85% of the donations actually go to the athletes. Oh, wow. And there's, so there's only 15% of the donation that goes to overhead, that, which we thought was pretty impressive. Yeah. So... Um, and also, there's uh, 80, 83 Special Olympians in Mason County. Oh, wow. Uh, so there's quite a, quite a handful of people here uh, that, that this is going to benefit. So we're, we're really excited to be involved in this process. And Dave, how are you uh, and DOC uh, involved in this? Well, the Department of Corrections has a pretty big uh, footprint in Mason County with the Corrections Center and our field office down in uh, Shelton. So we're just happy to be involved with the community and, and uh, get our folks out there helping a real worthy cause. Sheriff, let's talk about the run itself. I, I know that you're going to be able to pass the torch from county to county, and kind of how's that going to all look for everybody? Well, we're going to receive the torch on the 1st from Kitsap County Sheriff's Office, and we'll start in Belfair, and you can see the route list here. It's going to go through, um, it's going to start at the Safeway parking lot in Belfair, go to North Mason High School. It's going to go around the high school and the middle school. Um, I think that some of the uh, students up there are going to participate in that. It'll go from there down to the fire station on Mason Benson Road down St. Andrews Drive, the fire station there, and then um, the next fire station on Roadrunner, and then it'll be out at the Alderbrook uh, Spa and Resort, and then we'll move it, it'll go out around, uh, out near the parking lot and around uh, the uh, Washington State Correction Center, the WSP Academy, and then it will go to Shelton High School, and it will continue down Shelton Springs Road and uh, Olympic Highway North, and it will come through downtown on Railroad and Front Street, and then it will go from there out to the Little Creek Casino, and we'll have a ceremonial handoff to the Thurston County Sheriff's Office. That's going to be a really cool deal, and is it quite similar to the uh, Olympic ceremony where there's the torch that's always lit and yes. it's going from place to place? The torch has uh, it, it, the torch will be lit the whole time, and uh, we just pass it to each person and each each group of runners e at each one of those stages. There's a, an, a, each of the agencies are taking a leg of the of the stages to run that. They'll hand it off. Uh, and groups will go through and hand it off, so it's not too far for any one person. So I'm one, I'm guessing that uh, all law enforcement officials here in the in the county uh, or Mason County sheriffs at least will have uh, availabilities for people to purchase these shirts at places. Or how how how's that going to work? Yes. We'll have them in our front office. I'm carrying them around with me in my car. I've got some in there just for you, Jeff. All right. In the car in there. And uh, um, we just got them in last week and got started. So we've got all organized and, and uh, our spreadsheets made on who's selling them and where they're going out to. And so, again, kind of the, the history of this, when you were over in Thurston County, you participated in it and then said, well, it's time for Mason County. Yeah, I participated in Thurston County years ago, and it just didn't never happened over here and i've always wanted to be involved and get somebody involved and uh, uh we hired chief hansen came to our office and i mentioned it at a conference and and where we were talking about it at the washington association <coughs> of sheriffs and police chiefs conference and i said i've always wanted to do this and chief hansen stood up at the conference and said mason county's in we're going and we were in and going so 
I, I mentioned it, and he was the spark. Um, the Law Enforcement Torch runs the largest public awareness vehicle and fundraiser for the Special Olympics. Wow. And um, law enforcement, of course, is the, is the largest promoter of the Law Enforcement Torch Run worldwide. And so uh, in the state of Washington, there's over a half a million dollars a year that are raised annually from the programs um, that, that go in to serve our local athletes. And next year, if I'm correct on this, the national, uh, uh, the United States Olympics National Games will be in uh, Tacoma, I think it is, next year. Excellent. Wow. The World Game. Right? Oh, wow. That's impressive. In Tacoma next year. So we're getting geared up for that, so we'll be ready to go for next year as well. So you'll be able to find more information, and we'll put the links on all these when we uh, post the interview here. But it's coming up Thursday, June 1st. Going to start at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, June 1st, up at the Belfair Safeway, moving throughout the county, throughout the day, ending at a ceremony at the Little Creek Casino from uh, at about 2.30, uh, you know, based on runners and things like that. So it'll be a good time for you to also uh, put forth some good efforts to help raise funds for Special Olympics Washington with the Law Enforcement Torch Run Thursday, June 1st. Sheriff Casey Salisbury, Kevin Hansen, Dave Thompson here with me this morning. Uh, anything else to pass along that people need to know? Deadlines or anything like that, Kevin? Yeah. Well, I think I think people can uh, just go online. Uh, they can go onto this the Special Olympics, okay. and there's a donation uh, check mark there that you can just they can click on a link and they can put their credit card in and uh, just make make donations oh. online. It's as simple as that. Perfect. Perfect. Well, thank you so thank much, you. guys, for coming in and talking about this. And we'll be looking forward to June 1st, starting point, 8 o'clock up there at the Belfair Safeway. Again, we'll get all this information up on the website after the show today. Uh, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for having Good us. to see you guys.